Well, hello everybody, coming to you here from the, the Hard Rock Stadium in the north of Miami. I, I got an email from La Mesa RV that they were having an RV show and here we are to check it out. I'm riding, 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 riding with my RV, my RV, wherever I want to be, because I'm free in my RV. This is the. Has a bathroom in the back. And oh, this is. This is the Carado Banff by Heimer. This is on the. On the on the Pro Master chassis. Prado action. Sofa as a sofa. Propane down there. And the bathroom in the back. Then, well, the sofa, you sit in the sofa. This is table right here and then. And this is how much? 72,998. Our old friend, the Travato 59G. I think this is a, a fairly new addition. Now we have a counter extension. But yeah, it is a little claustrophobic in here, but you have the, the bathroom is pretty big for a wet bath and the, and the bed, of course. As you remember, we can move it up. Yeah, this is still one of our top 10 candidates for van life. And here, this is not the most comfortable desk in the world, but I think it'll work as a, as a workstation. It will, of course. Yeah, the Travato 59G, and that's a heck of a good price, 74. Very good visibility from the from the cockpit. This uh, picking site, the Winnebago era, and this one has this uh, four captain chairs and uh, a place to put the table. I don't know if that table could be um, put there permanently so you don't have to like. And then the kitchen is really nice because uh, this sink is actually pretty cool. And it has this, I do believe this is like a new uh, model range. That in the back, you know, it's the same cookie cutter uh, floor plan that most of these class B's have. I guess this could be a turned into a kind of like a privacy um, area. I don't know. You could put a table in the back too. Yeah, pretty typical uh, for a touring coach hanging closet. Hmm. I guess uh, I'm starting to come around. Here's our our very nice Winnebago trend. This is the corner bed unit. This is like 24 feet in length, I think. But coming from a Travado, this is like a mansion. Look at that. Huge table that even has a, a, a further extension. And the, the kitchen, you know, a lot of area here. A lot of, of course, corner bed. And the bathroom, look at that sink, that's huge and deep. Perfect for me. And uh, and the shower, of course. It is a lot more comfortable than what we have right now. But then again, uh, this is uh, right there, borderline. I don't know if we're gonna be able to, to park uh, at places, you know. And this one doesn't have the bed that comes down, so that's good. That's the loud AC, you know. 70 grand at this uh, RV show. Of course, there's storage down here. Oh, that's this is the one with the palangana. Okay. Another palangana here. <laughs> the, apparently, this is the type of shower curtain that we need in Minitini so it would extend 
because the shower is almost the same size. By the way, we are inside the Thor Synergy. This is pretty cool. This has the, the, that was the bathroom and it's very huge because it has a slide that way and it has a slide here on the sofa. And it's a proper class C with the bed over in the cab, cab over area. Kitchen, uh, uh, this seems to be like an electric only unit because it has an, an induction. But then it has the, no, it, it probably has propane too because this is a three-way fridge. I don't know, I have no idea. But this is a slide out here. It's pretty cool. Thor Synergy on the, um, on the Sprinter chassis, of course. And that's the citation. We have a, a used uh, a 2006 Pleasure Way Plateau TS. It's on the 3500 uh, um, Sprinter chassis here. And uh, this one is pretty compact. Here we have a typical wet bath, of course. But there's a lot of um, a lot of storage up here. It has a regular, you know, typical range Norcold refrigerator. And if if I only would fit there, you know, uh, going uh, transversely in this van, we wouldn't even have to make the bed. But I'm like one inch too long, uh, hanging closet. It's pretty cool. It's a hundred grand here at the at the at the RV show. Pleasure Way Plateau. There's another thing to consider. It has a lot of uh, area here in the kitchen. And this is it's very nice. Proper Class B, no no outside storage, of course. Well, check it out. Look who's here. My Wanabego Micro Mini 1706 FB. Although, this is the 2018 model. And uh, let's uh, find out what they have changed besides the price. Uh, well, this looks like a, like a larger... Uh, Propane. Okay, this is pretty cool because now when you open this up, it has a magnet on the top. But it's pretty much uh, more or less the same space. They put a light in here, which we don't have in hours. So those are th these are bigger tires. It, it, it's 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 a little more elevated off the ground than ours. And the door is. Like, but inside, it's very much the same. They have the same here, same here. Although here they made a larger closet, more uh, more similar to the modification that I made actually, I, you know, I took out the TV. Yeah, the bathroom is exactly the same except the sink is now metal. And oh, I need a haircut. And um, over here, this one has an oven. It has a slightly better uh, domestic refrigerator, a slightly bigger. But otherwise, it is uh, the dinette is still the same. Not so great today, Ned. And this one is now, well, at least 25, and uh, they're selling it for 19. Ours was much cheaper. Yeah, it's all the same. Pretty cool. Let's check out the Wanabego Navy on that. Yeah, it's more like a classic Class C because it has the cab over area. It's pretty small. Okay, the Navion, as you can see, it's very similar to the to the trend in floor plan wise. It's you know that corner bed. Although this one has the the sink outside of the of the shower and the toilet area. It's pretty big. Hello there. And uh, yeah, nice hanging closet. And this one has like this U-shaped uh, dinette, and it has the bed on the cab over area. So it's a proper class C. Not a whole lot of um, prep area here in the kitchen, so I don't know. And this is $111,000, and that's the discount price, because list is one fifty three. Yeah, maybe a little much. Maybe we don't need this much space, besides it has a, a almost the whole, this whole side is a slide out. This is huge, although we're, we're, I don't think we're really into these big things anymore. Check it out, big diesel pusher. Yeah, this is the whole area with the class A. This is called a palazzo by Thor. Thor. The epitome of the diesel pusher here. And this is not the longest one, I think.
not what we're looking for. <laughs> Here's a quick look at our first love. You would think when we were bent on a uh, class A was the only way to go. Uh, this was the I this used this floor plan used to be the Itasca Sunstar 27 and now it's a um, Sunstar XL or something like that. But slide there, slide here. Pretty big bathroom. It's the same for a floor plan. I'm gonna put a link to that uh, to that video. And it has a loft bed here in the front. It's like 150 normally, but they have it on special for 107283 here at the La Mesa RV show. And here we have another big armatroste. Uh, yes, dark there. This is the Monebego Intent. And it's very similar to the Vista line, I think. It's gas powered, but it has outside uh, kitchen. And it's big. This is uh, actually on special 83, so it's cheaper than the, than the Vista line, I think. I got the class uh, A route. It's 2018 uh, Thor Vega, $75,000, a little more. It's pretty cool. It's a gas engine, of course. It has the sofa here with the, no slides, no, no, no slides to the side, so that's really good. This is a counter extension, so there's a, a lot of counter space here uh, to range. And this is a convection oven. You know, it is a Thor, but it's pretty cool. That's, the, the bathroom is relatively, um, you know, spacious if you think about it. And uh, this is. Uh, closet I think if I could only open it and back here is the only slide which is a slide that goes into the rear of the of the coach and you probably lose the ability to open these two uh, drawers if you open the slide but but it's a slide that you could almost open anywhere so it's not very intrusive Okay, this was just a quick overview, nothing too deep, but uh, I hope you enjoyed it. But yeah, that was a pretty cool uh, little RV show here, and uh, I even got to meet some uh, viewers, so it's pretty cool. Bye now. If you have enjoyed traveling with us, then make sure you are subscribed and check out my other videos. Also, share it with your friends, spread the word, and leave me a comment. Now, if you really, really liked it, you have a chance to show your support at patreon.com slash travelingrobert. As always, thank you so much for watching and see you on the road.